Hey everybody, welcome to the Chase Carter Concept Podcast for Friday, April 23rd. Uh, I'd look, I'm 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 gonna start talking about this. I um Mortal Kombat came out today. All right. I passed out at 9 30 9 o'clock last night and so i woke up at four no reason no reason i didn't i thought i did first of all i did the dishes last night i could have swore i did the dishes i woke up and i'm like i'm so happy that i don't have anytime like most nights i do i do the dishes before i go to sleep there's some nights i forget rarely happens rarely happens okay i like doing the dishes Corey leaves me alone. She hates washing them. So it's nice and quiet time. I get to put my ear. Sometimes I'm, I make it last longer than it needs to just because, you know, I get, I get left alone. I get, it, it's nice. It's nice, peace and quiet. Not that she bugs me, not that she bugs me, but she bugs me. All right. So I'm, I could have swore. I, I remember washing. I remember scrubbing the dishes and I woke up at four o'clock I didn't even bring my dinner plate into the kitchen from the room. I can, compl- I don't know if I dreamt about doing the dishes last night. I don't know if, if I was drugged, I'm not pointing any fingers, but Corey was the only person here. So if I was make sure the authorities, you know, and in- interrogate her a little bit, but man, but anyway, anyway so I, I woke up at four o'clock. I'm like, all right, I, I have to, I have, okay, okay, what is wrong with me? What is actually wrong with me? Um, but everyone, don't worry, dishes are done, they're clean, they're fine. I don't know what is, what happened. I'm just going to chalk it up to a mystery, okay? Divine intervention, I don't understand, I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand a lot of things. But I woke up this morning ex- excited, ecstatic. Mortal Kombat finally is here. Okay, I didn't watch any of the trailers. I saw, I accidentally saw five seconds of a trailer where he freezes blood and and into like the shank and then stabs Scorpion. Looks awesome, right? As Scorpion and uh, Sub Zero fighting, looks awesome. The twenty minutes of this movie was awesome, and the rest of it. I don't know if they knew understood what Mortal Kombat is. Because Mortal this is the this is the 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 new Mortal Kombat, right? Okay. So if everyone knows there's a tournament, right? And if the Outworld wins, I'm going to get I'm going to get nerd. I'm going to get real into the now I I don't know all the characters. There was a character in there I don't ever remember seeing. It might have been in you know, a, a Mortal Kombat. There's so many Mortal Kombat video games. I'm not going to pretend to know all the characters, but I understand the essence of it. I understand. I get the essence of it. I was there. Watch, I don't know all the characters. Okay. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. But I know more than most. And by the way, while I was watching it, Corey woke up and said, you're watching that without me. I'm a huge fan. It's like, no, you're not a huge fan. I've never heard you say the word, the word mortal. Or combat before, much less together in the same sentence talking about a video. I, you mean you remember people talking about it when you were little? That doesn't mean you're a fan. She just, and I said, name one character. And she yelled at me. She's like, that's not what a fan is. I'm like, that's exactly what a fan is. If you watch something, if I said, name a character on Gilmore Girls, she wouldn't, the entire cast and, and the real names. Their, pro- their gender, their height and weight, she would know all of these things. Who they're related to who, she would know it, it all. So I don't want to hear. Same thing with women and friends. They know all the characters and friends, and then they go, yeah, I'm a football fan. Well, what's your favorite team? Well, I like the, the local teams, the Rams. Name a player. A player. Name one. They don't know. They pre- I don't know why. And, it, and I pick on women, and that's unfair, but most people... They pretend to be fans of things that they're not fans. You can say you like, you casually watch, but a fan, the word fan is short for fanatic. So you are not a fan. Do you own any merchandise? Do you buy any of the t-shirts? 
no, 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 no on all counts, then you're not a fan. Shush. Shush it. How long have you been following? Name, name one person. Anyway. And then and, and she's like, that's not how I experience, you know, whatever movies. She closes the door, opens it back up, and then says, Sub-Zero. And it was a good five or six seconds, so I'm pretty sure she Googled, you know, you know, 10, 15 seconds in between the door closing and the door opening. So I'm pretty sure she closed the door, Googled Mortal Kombat, and then saw a character and said that. And then she said, uh, um, ki- uh, no, no, what did she say? She meant to say Katana, but she said, but she said, um, she said some Spanish word. I can't remember. I don't know. It was some food. Not Kachala. Not, not, uh, Kachala. Um, I can't remember what, what she said, but it was, but it was funny. Good. I'm going to bring that up. But she mentioned that. And then she said the, uh, oh, what is, oh, I can't remember. She named one other character. Can't remember what it was, but anyways, the movie, the movie opens up. It explains that there's, you know, the outworld is one night. First of all, Hey, can we, Hey guys, 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 can we do a movie where the world, the earth realm hasn't lost nine in a row? We've we've had we've had that Mortal Kombat movie. We've had it. We've seen it. We liked it at the time. It was good. It was good for what it was at the time. It was great. Okay, for a little kid, it's great. For like an actual movie, it's kind of silly or whatever, but it's good. All right. So, with that said, the fight scenes in those movies, besides the 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 Johnny Cage and Scorpion fight, okay, the Liu Kang and Reptile fight, and they were were, were good. All the other ones, the Goro and you know Johnny Cage, it seemed like they were you know running out of time. All right. Um, the what other? I can't, on the top of my head, I can't think of another good fight in that movie. Oh, but that Johnny Cage Scorpion fight, and that's what this movie. Okay, the movie opens up with with I had such high hopes. High hope we had we had them. We had them. They were in our hands. It was so close. But the movie, and I'm probably going to go on for the whole hour. I have multiple topics. I have, let's see, uh, let's see here. Let's well, let's let's read these off. I have I have a, a fu- I have a weird idea of a fun news outlet that only reports on good news. Just in case you want, you know, like I'm tired of all the shootings. I'm tired of all you know the violence because there's 300 million people in this country. There's going to be violence. Every single day. Someone's died right now. Wait four seconds, someone died right then. So wait another four seconds, someone's dying. But also people are being born. Can we hear about the people being born side of things instead of the, the terrible news first? Okay, I would like to s- subscribe to the fun news channel. Please, thank you very much. And I'll I'll get both. Okay, but let me decide what news. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm also working on the Sea of Thieves. Oh, man. I got something stuck in my throat. I don't even have... I have, I have <coughs> I'm okay. Let me drink some water. Okay. I think I'm okay. I'm going to leave that in. All right? You know what struggle it is? Okay. I'm, I'm doing a Sea of Thieves um, uh, canon map for my girlfriend for her birthday. I'm, I, I went to every single island. I got four more to go to, and I'm mapping out every single direction the cannons are shooting. It's a great idea. No one's thought of it. I don't know why. No one's. Just so you know what side the cannons are on, the coverage. I'm getting my compass out, doing all that stuff. That's what I'm doing. I got that to talk about, um, which I just did, so it's fine. And then my friend called me today, <clears throat> twice. He called me at eight o'clock, and about an hour ago. Um, about eight and one, one, he's talking about how Kyrie Irving is the most skilled basketball player ever. And I, I, um, my brain just shut off. So I'm talking about that as well, but Mortal Kombat, I want to get, I want to get on this. I'm going to get on it. The movie opens up. Okay. If you don't like Mortal Kombat, turn this off. Mortal Kombat starts off, um, a Japanese family. In the woods, everything's peaceful. Everything's going good. Okay, this is like in the 1600s. Um, the husband is expressing his love for his wife, 
um, saying he's very appreciative of him and he's grateful. He's lucky to have. And then you see this little symbol. On, it looks like a little birthmark on his wrist. And it looks like the Mortal Kombat logo on there. And I'm like, well, that's pretty on the nose. That's a little weird. This dragon uh, symbol. I was like, it looks like a burn. It looks like uh, a uh, a brand. But later you find out it's a birthmark. Okay, could you guys stop? You don't have to put the logo in everything. All right, the, we get the logo. The logo is at the beginning of the movie. All right, have the logo behind Shang Tsung because that's what the Mortal Kombat is or whatever. Or have it a part of like Luke, Luke Kang turns into a giant. By the way, I watched the movie. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place with this. Okay, this is something I'm, I'm passionate about this. I love Mortal Kombat. It was something I grew up as a kid. I love feeling like a kid again. This movie one time made me feel like a kid. One time. And so thank you. People who made this movie, uh, who created it, spent years making it. Thank you. I appreciate it for that one moment where I got excited. And I'm going to tell you what that was. And it, it was not in the trailers. It's the only damn thing they didn't show in the trailers. I went back and watched the trailers. Every cool thing that's in the damn movie is in the trailer. Besides the, like the fatalities. And the fatalities, I'm going to go out and say it, weren't that good. They're not that good. I don't understand. Kano ripped someone's heart out. And by the way, it, it was, it was uh, the re reptilian version of reptile. It was, re it, was, it was a lizard. It was a reptile. It was, it was, it was reptile. So I'm wondering, you're the CG character that he's fighting. First of all, don't do that. Don't do that. Stop it. No. And th th then they had another CG character, Goro. That one was a little bit different. It didn't feel as terrible, but that, and it was, it was um, Sonya Blade and Kano fighting. And then the new character, I don't even want to say, they added, okay, granted, Mortal Kombat has 38 contillion characters. I'm not saying that. But in the first Mortal Kombat movie, that you you're you're trying to reboot this, right? And then I heard a director that he talked I'm all I'm all over the place. I don't care if this makes any sense makes any sense, but this movie f feels it doesn't feel like it's all over the place. It just feels like two different people made parts of the movie. The beginning of the movie, awesome. The last part of the movie, awesome. The middle bits, the 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 things in the middle, not as good, not as good. And so when you compare them to the beginning, it, it seems like a direct one director made the first 15 minutes and then the last 15 minutes. And then he got his brother-in-law to make the, the, the things he couldn't be bothered, couldn't be bothered with it. It was cool that they had Melina in there. And then Malina, it was, that was, that was kind of a cool, but it's a cool little nod. The funny um, part uh, now, I'm gonna obviously, I'm gonna talk about this in length, in detail. So if you don't want to hear, they did the Kung Lao um, tripped. They were uh, oh God, I I can't even say it. And they, they're Kung Lao and Kano were training. They were training together, and it was it was either Kung Lao or Liu Kang. I can't remember. Is, it, is that is that racist? Probably. But anyway, they. Um, Kano, Kano was about ready to fight. He's like, oh, you're about to get it now, mate. And then Liu Kang swept him. Did the old Mortal Kombat down an A sweep. Swept him, got it. He's like, ha, ha, ha. And then he's like, let's see what you got now. And he did it again. He's like, well, is that your only move? And then he fakes to sweep him. Kano jumps, and then Liu Kang sweeps him again. He goes, oh, okay, okay. He's like, I'm just warming up. That was a funny little, okay, good. That's funny. People who don't play, didn't play Mortal Kombat, never get. They're gonna maybe laugh at that, but they're not gonna get the substance. More of that, okay? That was fine. All right, that was good. But why? Um, the the birthmark. Okay, first, okay. I'm going, going, going back. I'm going all, all over the place. Back to the Japanese family in the woods. All right, open. Everything was fine. Everything was good. And then, of course, Sub Zero and the Lin Kuei come and destroy the place. All right. And then it sets up this rivalry between Sub-Zero and Scorpion. 
Okay, Sub Zero comes, kills. He, he's not Scorpion at the time. I forget his name, I, and I don't even want to say his name because if I mispronounce it, you're like you're a racist. So, <laughs> okay, I'm all over the place. Stop Asian hate. <laughs> it's like I just don't know how to pronounce the name. That's your 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 words are violence against them. Stop it. So, it, and it was a. Uh, um, because Sub Zero was speaking Chinese and Japanese, so I couldn't tell. I couldn't if they were trying to um, pit the Chinese, like Sub Zero is Chinese, and then that um, Scorpion is Japanese. Because I, I I understand the oh I I, I when spe- someone speaks um, Japanese, I I understand a little bit, not understand it, but I understand that he's speaking Japanese because it's more of a oh sounding language. And then when Sub Zero originally spoke, he spoke Chinese. He was, it even said in the subtitle, "Speaking Chinese." And then I'm like, "But what is? Are you trying to say like Chinese? Like Sub Zero is Chinese?" I, I didn't understand that part. But maybe it isn't. I, I, I didn't go that deep into the the lore back then. But I just thought it was two Japanese, um, like ninja clans going at it. That's what I originally thought the storyline was. But maybe they know something about the story that I don't. Who knows? I, I, have, I have no idea. That's fine. So Sub Zero comes in, kills his family, freezes him. He has these he has these superpowers, um, which they don't um, explain. But but it's in the grounded world. But they don't explain how these people have superpowers. But that's fine. There's different realms and all that stuff. Science doesn't you know what have you can't explain it. It was kind of cool in the YouTube Mortal Kombat uh, um, movies where they had uh, like real explanations of why people have these abilities. But then it gets to a point where you're like, there was one guy's like, well, what are they going to show next? Sub Zero is a refrigerator repair man, and it gets to that point where you're like, oh, okay, that's a little. But then, so Sub Zero, but he had the powers when he killed. See, this doesn't make any sense because the the story that I remember is that these two warring ninja factions fought each other, and then um, Sub Zero killed Scorpion. I mean, they've been killing each other back and forth since the beginning of time. It seems like. But they were fighting each other, and then on death, when they were rebirthed, they, they got these powers, if I remember correctly. And that's what happens to Scorpion in this movie, but Sub-Zero started with these powers. So then you're wondering, how does Scorpion have these powers? It's from I, I, They didn't explain that. They were just like, Sub-Zero. And, but Sub-Zero, was, it, was, it was so good because it seemed like Sub-Zero was the main bad guy. He was the shit. He was a, a horror. He was the monster figure before he showed up it would snow and he'd be like oh shit here he comes there was one cool part where the uh, one of the windows it began like fr- um, frosting up and then when, when the camera comes back to it it's like sub-zero's right there behind the window cool love that aspect sub-zero's the main bad guy really really cool i liked it all right i like that i like the first 15 like the last 15 it was good the last scene takes place in an mma gym that's frozen. Okay. 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 They even had the pit. They had the the pit for Mortal Kombat, but they didn't really show it. They didn't. Jax and then this other general guy. I forget his name. He's a a real. He's a character that is a is a deep cut. From I vaguely remember him. I can't re- remember his name fully. Um, this guy with a hammer, a giant sledgehammer. Um, they fight in the pit, and and nothing happens in the pit. No one gets knocked off and falls on spikes. So, do you, is this a Mortal Kombat movie? And then the tournament. I'm all over the place, but I'm, I'm whatever. The tournament doesn't even take place. All of this happens pre-tournament. The, the the champions of the um, Earth realm and the Nether realm fight each other, okay. And then that that then that means there's other realms. Why aren't they fighting in the tournament? So I'm confused. The Nether or not the Earth realm, Outworld. Excuse me. The Nether realm is where Scorpion went, at, like when he died. And he's been building up his power for 400 years, and he learned to control the powers of hell, and he comes back, which is awesome. By the way, he came back at 400 years to Avengers family, which is sweet. That should have been the that could have been the story. Should have been the story. And then also in the tournament. The tournament should have been maybe a side thing. 
that's going on. And then at the end, Scorpion comes back and then they have the final duel. And then they have this character that they made young cage or, you know, Cole young. I don't even want to remember his name to put no. Hey guys, you're making a mortal Kombat movie. You're rebooting the whole thing. Okay. How can we get everyone to like the main character? Do we have any characters that have history or backstory? No, let's make up our own. And then the, um, the fans are discover. This is what the director said. The fans are discovering um, the rules of this combat in this world with the main character. So the main character is um, a, a tool, like because the, the fans are learned, uh, like the people watching it, the viewer, and then the, the young guy, the new, the new guy, um, get to learn about this together. And they're discovering it for the first time. And then the main character is, hey, guy, you're making this movie for the Mortal Kombat fans. You're making it rated R for the Mortal Kombat fans. You're not making this for casual people. You're not. What are you, what? What are you doing? They've, Mortal Kombat has introduced lots of characters. I understand. Okay, if that is your reasoning for it, it's a stupid one. It's a stupid one. Because unless that guy's going to be in the next video game, which he probably is now, but that needs to be a thing and, and make him better than an MMA fighter. Now, his thing is uh, the MMA. They, they showed his uh, taped hands at the very beginning. He's an MMA fighter. He fights for $200 now, and he used to be a former champion somewhere. Um, he has the same birthmark dragon tattoo thing, on which means he's chosen he's a lineage he's a bloodline of scorpion um henzo shishi or shishi or something like that but huh but it, it but when he find okay and then so if every champion who ha has that mark okay and if you kill someone by the way which which doesn't make any it just doesn't unless scorpion did it but it doesn't make any sense so if um, sub-zero killed um the the new character the young character if you kill someone with the mark, then the mark transfers to you. So the, the the chosen champion thing doesn't really mean anything. Because if you were a champion and then you were beaten, but I think that, that mark gives you some kind of, apparently an ability that you could unlock later through trials and tribulations. And you get a superpower, which explains all of like how Sonya Blade can shoot energy from her arms, or which she doesn't have. She She's not... Which is kind of what I like that. I like that part to where she gained it because at first she was, she is the one um, who figured um, all of this out, at least part of the humans. And she, her and Jax are going, trying to round up um, the champions and then go to Raiden's temple so they can learn more and become the actual champions. So then they go, um, I'm all, again, 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 I'm all over the place. And that's because this, it doesn't, it's a Mortal Kombat movie and Mortal Kombat is about a tournament. The movie has no tournament fighting in it. The first Mortal Kombat movie was cool because you saw characters actually have long, drawn-out fights. And you would what well, could happen in these worlds? What could happen in, in the fights? Different scenario, different um, arenas. Okay, that's what this is. It's like, hey, man, you're supposed to fight uh, Liu Kang here. You're supposed to fight Cabal here. You're supposed to fight Shiva, you know, in the pits or whatever. You're supposed to, on the top of these um, temples, you're supposed to fight, and you fight. And the actor who played Shang Tsung, the accountant, he's supposed to be an old man that's seen some shit. All right? It was the accountant from The Dark Knight. And all I could think of, all I can think of, is like, we won nine tournaments. I'm good with calculation. That's all I could think about. He's too, he's not Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung. He's not him. He's a, he's a fine actor. The wig looked ridiculous. Have him be an old man. Raiden? Okay, Raiden was fine. Still a little, a little weird. Looked like a young Raiden, but whatever. Better, definitely better than the white guy. 
that they had in the first Mortal Kombat. Ha ha ha. But he was like, he was British or something. And he talked like this. But I don't understand. I, I, there's so many. The guy who played Scorpion, awesome. The guy who played Sub-Zero, awesome. You notice how small, how, how tiny they were. It, even, how small these guys were. Um, the guy who played Liu Kang, okay. Kung Lao, okay. Jackson, and Sonya, yeah. I'd say Sonya's better than Jax. Jax was more of a... Um, he was the the bald black actor who was in um, Supergirl. I like him, but not a, not as a hard military guy. Jax, I'm, huh? They didn't seem like actual military people. They seemed one too too nice, too in a good mood all the time. I'm just like you're supposed to be hard and mil. He's like I had six tours, motherfucker, and I'm like you're 30 years old. You've had six tours already. Or like he said, some, he said some crazy number. I can't remember which one. I was like, dude, you look like you're 27 years old, 20, like 32. Now you could be, you know, I don't know. Certain certain people look a lot younger than they actually are. You could be 50. I don't think you are. But I was like, he he was fighting Sub Zero. He's fighting a person that can freeze anything, right? And he's already Sub Zero's already shown his ability. He knows that this man can freeze pretty much anything. He shot, um, tried to shoot Sub Zero with the shotgun. He froze the, you know, and then the bullets are creeping out. Great. Oh, my God. That was the one of the, it's in the trailer. You knew it was happening. So when you saw it in the movie, it's not a surprise. It's not cool. Video game, uh, not video game, movie developers, if you're going to make a movie, stop showing everything in the trailers. It ruins the movie. Now, see, I didn't watch the trailers, so you didn't ruin your own movie for me. It was it was kind of cool how um, Liu Kang, I don't know what Cabal was in. Liu Kang and Cabal fight twice, and then Liu Kang kills him, and then they always have fatality, flawless victory. They have to do these things, okay? It's not, the characters don't say those things. The character, the announcer of the tournament does. Not the, Liu Kang doesn't kill somebody. And then go, fatality. He doesn't do that. Luke Kung Lao takes, I forget what character it is. It's a, a female character with wings. I'm going to look this one up because I'm confused. Mortal Kombat. Character. I just put mortal character. That's going to go really good. Combat. Character. With wings, I don't. I don't know if this is a new that I missed because I'd stopped playing these games after a while. Natara. Okay, Natara. That's fine. Natara is here. That's what I, I kind of remember. She has no backstory. She's just this f- female character with wings. Whatever. Looks like a giant scary fairy. Okay, so. Her and Kung Lao get into an altercation. Um, Kung Lao throws his hat on the ground. It spins, just like in the video game. Okay, and then she runs Natara through. He he runs Natara through the hat. It cut. It splits her in half. Then Kung Lao does like this backflip off of her. Retrieves his hat. The hat comes back. He puts it on. There's blood on the hat, and he does his little stance. Or whatever, and this is by the way a fight that is it's it's not a uh, it's not a tournament fight. They were ambushed by Shang Tsung and his and his cronies. So he stands there, and like everyone's watch, and people are watching that are trying to kill him. So I don't understand that part. I don't understand. And then he he touches the tip, and then you know tip of his hat, and then goes goes around the hat, like shing, whatever, like he didn't does in the video game. He does a little stance, a cool little. Shing, Looks cool. And then he says, flawless victory. Kong Lao doesn't say that. I wanted, I wanted, to, I wanted, I don't understand. These guys, the, 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 um, the director, the writers, they have to know all this lore, right? So it seems, it seems, 
I don't know if you can't make a good movie with with like with a big Hollywood budget because there's too many irons in the fire. It doesn't. They need to like have a director or just like, hey, shut up. These two people are going to make the movie. Nobody else has say so. I just don't understand. Or just make a CG Mortal Kombat movie. This this is what I don't understand. Um, about why they have to make, um, maybe be, like they 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 take a video game and they make a live action movie out of it. Just the game. Can you imagine? I would I would watch a Last of Us, uh, movie. I would watch an Uncharted movie. Just do the cutscenes. Make them. You don't have to pay actors. You don't have to pay the actors to show up. You don't have to have all the movie. Cr- just pay the animators. I don't understand. Huh? Why are you making a movie with with real people when the game isn't real? And then no one can bitch about, oh, that's not my character. That's not my Liu Kang. Or that's not my, how I do with, um how I did with um this J- Cannon Young character. Whatever the hell his name is. The MMA fighter. And then we're, we're supposed to care about this guy? We Hey, bro, we don't know you. And I never say the word bro. Hey, 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 guy. Hey, guy. We don't know you. And I'm not talking to the actor. I'm talking about the fictional character. We don't want you in the movie. We don't want you in our... See, this is this is our... We made more... The fans. We made Mortal Kombat successful. Can we get a Mortal... A fan... Um, a fan version of this movie? And people think they know what's better and what's best... When they're telling a story, Kano was funny, but it was, huh? It's it was so it didn't seem. It seemed like they watched a lit like they 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 played a little bit of the games or or read the Wikipedia. I don't, I don't get like okay, we have to have. Okay, the cool, okay, I'm going to okay, I'm gonna stop doing negative things because it sounds like I didn't like the movie. I did like it. Will I ever watch it again? No, unless Corey makes me. I don't understand. The fight, the, like I said, the fight scene at the beginning and the fight scene at the end, awesome. I couldn't tell you, I could not rem- tell you another fight scene that was cool. And, be, and do you know why? Because most of them had the main character in them. And I don't know who he is. You're making a Mortal Kombat movie with so many characters that have depth. And they have these long, drawn-out histories with one another. And then you make this character. And then when he learns his power, because he has the, the, um, the, the dragon birthmark, which I've already talked about. Dumb. He has the dragon birthmark. Okay, good, good. I, I applaud you guys for trying. You tried to make it a little bit different while making the same. The Mortal Kombat. This is not a. This is not Mortal Kombat. Mortal. This. This. This is. These are superheroes fighting. They're, the difference between Mortal Kombat is there's, there's a tournament. There's rules. There's regulations. Okay, and then Shang Tsung is always trying to cheat. Okay, and then Raiden is there to protect Earthrealm. That's the whole thing, and to make sure this is a fair fight. This is a fair competition. Because you know the the fate of Earthrealm is on the line here. So if you want to have these characters have have weight, no, if you have this movie, nobody cares about it. Then why 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 don't the humans go just kill Shang Tsung and all them when they're sleeping? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, because the human beings are nice characters, and these people from out. Are you kidding me? Huh? But and it, but okay. So this character, Cannon Young. I'm not even saying is this. Ruined the movie. Um, I'm sure he's a, he's a fine man in real life. I'm sure he's a good actor. Okay, he was he was okay in this. All right, he probably should have been Liu Kang. Okay, I'm gonna say that just out there. He could have been Liu Kang. Nice big, good looking actor. Liu Kang was a little tiny small guy. Kung Lao small. Sub Zero even looked small. The actor that played Scorpion was perfect. Listen to me. The, the movie is worth watching just to see Scorpion, okay? Because, like, the, the the anger and the sadness that that actor had and is completely portrayed, which is kind of weird. 
like these two death these two death ninja clans or whatever are killing one another and then like one's a good guy one's a bad guy like yeah seems like you're you've all killed a whole bunch of people but that's besides the point scorpion perfect sub-zero perfect like i said uh shang Tsung, terrible 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 bad idea close close but he's not shang Tsung. okay like well he's asian we gotta put no 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 get, i mean get get somebody i don't know please and now for a taste of things to come can you, like get the get the original shang Tsung and just make him look a li- like he's he could be old shang Tsung can be an old man He's an old. He was a, a old man with a giant beard in the first video game, and then he ch- he kept change. He, he changed. Just make it that. Why not? Okay, so losing my losing my mind here. Okay, so Scorpion <laughs> Sub Zero beginning of the movie. Okay, the the birthmark. The birthmark thing I want to explain, which doesn't make any sense about the canon young guy, and I need to explain that. So they go to the Raiden Temple. Okay, so Kano has the the mark. Okay, he's a normal human. He's a bad guy. Sonya uh, caught him and trapped him. Sonya does not have the birthmark. Jax has the birthmark, I believe. But they don't... I don't remember if they sh- showed it. I can't remember if they showed Jax's birthmark. I can't remember. And then the, um, the, the young cage guy has it. Okay. So they're all going to, um, and Sonya's helping them out. So all four of them, these dudes, and Lady, going to find Raiden's temple. They find Raiden's temple. They explain that finding your, you know, inner whatever that birthmark means you're chosen, and through trials and tribulations, you can unlock your power. So Kano unlocks his power, and then he gets his little red eye, his his uh, laser beam eye. He's like, "Holy crap!" You know, it's not a mechanical thing like it was in the video video game for for losing himself losing his eye uh Jax gets his arms frozen off by sub-zero in a in a okay fight in an okay fight it seems like whenever they had the the main actors fight the it wasn't the the hollywood actors in a fight it wasn't as good because the the contrast between someone who actually knows what they're doing and then you see an actor and then you see how they have to cut around these actors and it's not a prolonged fight scene. And that's another thing. I Hey, Hollywood, I want to see the characters in a long fight. In, a, um, a, in a, a fight that doesn't cut away every five seconds. Okay? And you're like, hey, look, these actors are not good at fighting. It's not going to look real. Okay. Well, then use CG, cut it up. Make it look better. Otherwise, I'm not going to be a fan of it. And if you make another movie besides Mortal Kombat, because I'll watch any Mortal Kombat movie, and you have me, okay? You have my money. I have no choice but I because I want to support it. So if you make a good movie, I'm going to vote with my dollars. I'm going to buy HBO Max. Okay, you're going to make a uh, Godzilla vs. Kong movie? Cool. You're going to have uh, Mortal Kombat out? Cool, I'm going to watch it. I'm a fan. I want to. Okay? But if it keeps happening, I'm going to tune out. Eventually, I'm not going to watch the new, like, I'm not, uh, what is it, like, John Wick, the reason that movie is prevalent is because of how good the action is, and it doesn't cut away every five seconds. This whole thing is going to be about Mortal Kombat, Jesus. Um, So Kano gets his eye ability, Um, Liu Kang already has his fire, Kung Lao already has his hat, they don't explain what he has, his ability. Um, they're already champions. They're out, they, they've been sitting there waiting and training. Um, the new guy doesn't get Jax gets it because he gets these shitty robotic arms. They they don't really work, what have you. And then um, a, you know obviously a fight happens and Sonya Blade's life is at stake. And then he has to lift up this huge rock that's on her. And they, if the rock that rock was on her, she would be dead. By the way, she'd be dead. But um, he goes to lift it up and then all of a sudden his arms start to just like self form kind of like a Iron Man suit. It just becomes these awesome, huge arms. Um, these really big, cool, uh, enormous uh, robot arms. Just look it, look, it looks cool when it, when it's done, you know, transforming. Um, Cause the first metal arms he got, or they basically look like uh, metal skeleton arms and they, they look, they look weird. So when he gets these awesome arms, it's pretty cool. 
So he gets those, but then he does he only, he he has one fight after that, and then he does the Jack's uh, fatality where he just smashes someone head someone's head the 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 character the general guy the guy with a sledgehammer and that's it, and then he doesn't really do anything, and then the fight scenes are they're they're like everybody fights all at once, so two so two people go fight you know on one side of the room, two people go fight on the other side of the room, the other they fight. And they're all having these separate fights. And then the, the movie is cutting between the Jax and General, you know, whatever character that no one cares about. Great job putting that guy in. But that's, that's fine. So this guy is, so one guy we know, character we know, is fighting another character that hardly anybody knows. But then we need, a, the, the main character is fighting all the characters we know and love. I'm not rooting for the new guy that I don't like or know. The, the, Yolk, the, Cole Young guy, Cannon Young, Young Cannon, Young Cole. I'm not rooting for him. Every time he fights, I'm rooting for him to die. It's like John, it's like watching John Cena. It's like, uh, okay, he's going to win. Okay, he's going to win again. Okay, he's going to win again. You can introduce a main character and then have a Mortal Kombat character kill him. And then the Mortal Kombat, the, the Mortal Kombat character that likes the main guy, the, you know, the, the guy that got died gets obviously upset. Have him be a relative of Luke Hang or something. And then we understand, oh, Luke, now Luke Hang is going to go on this tear. And he's part of a bloodline. He's, um, he's Scorpion's great-great-grandson or something like that. Huh? The birthmark unleashes power, but if, if you kill him, then you get the power or you get the birthmark. Then how many birthmarks does uh, Scorpion have? Scorpion's been killing all these people since day... Since the beginning of time, does he have little Mortal Kombat birthmarks all over his body? What's going on here? Does it? I'm just, I'm at a loss. The coolest part. Okay, the coolest part that got me excited. Um, I know I sound like I hate this movie. I don't hate it. It was so, it's so close. It's so close. I hope another director sees how close they were and just goes, hey, can we take that 15 minutes at the beginning and 15 minutes at the end and then fill it with the same kind of content, please? And when Scorpion came back, when Scorpion came back, that was cool, but they're fighting in a frozen MMA gym. What? That's not a Mortal Kombat, classic Mortal Kombat arena. What? Are, you're going to end the movie. Mortal Kombat has came back like 20-something years. It was made in like 95, I think it was, the first one. You're going to come back over five? Yeah, damn near 20 years. You're going to come back 20 years, and your final in your final fight scene is going to be in an MMA gym. Look, I know UFC is cool. I know everyone's doing it. Okay, I respect those guys. And first of all, the, the, the MMA fight that they had at the beginning wasn't a real MMA fight. Hollywood, stop doing MMA fights. You, We know what real fighting looks like. Okay, so when you do these scripted, okay, I'm going to get you in a triangle choke. I'm going to get you into um, a crucifix. This guy had a crucifix and then was punching him with his fists. You don't, you elbow him. We've seen that move. We've seen real fighters do that move. And you're going to do a Hollywood version of it that looks like garbage. It's not going to look good. And these dramatic punches where everyone's throwing haymakers all the time and hitting with like 100% accuracy. And these guys, and these characters are taking punches and then just looking back at the guy that stop at that point in time, in the very beginning of the movie, he's a human being. It look, we know what real fighting looks like. Just have the two characters not fight for real. But just have them spar. Have them go at one another. And then cut around it. Have them roll around. Have them actually fight. And then cut it together to where that makes sense. It's not It's not difficult to make two people look like they're fighting. And then have it show up on... I don't, I, I don't even know anything about fighting. But I know what it looks like. And that's not it. If you want to do all the crazy martial art... Superhuman flips. All, I okay. That stuff is up to imagination, but we know what MMA fights look like. Anyway, it's like if you you, you made a basketball movie and you had a guy jump from the three point line and dunk. Huh? 
That's not um people can't uh that's not how it looks. People can't but wouldn't it be cool if no um then it it negates the whole game and what what they're doing because it's a realistic movie, right? At the beginning and they're two humans. Well, that's those aren't that's not how human beings fight. Well, how do you know? We watch it every um every every week or two. The UFC has events on, so we get to see it in real life. So you have to if you're going to make it real, you have to do that, not just put them in moves. It was a WWE MMA fight. But oh, anyway, the coolest part. I'm going to get back to this. The coolest part is, and they did not show this. It was the one thing they didn't show in the trailer. Sub Zero and Scorpion, at, which I which I love how they're the two basically main characters, and they're this the they're the through line. They're the story that starts the movie and ends it, which is awesome. And then Sub Zero going it's for the Lin Kuei. Now Sub Zero took off his mask a little too much, but it's just to give that the 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 actor the real person some face time on screen. I understand that. But once you become, uh, like, have someone take his mask off. You know, you're not, you're, you're a ninja. He's a ninja. He's Sub-Zero now. He's not, um, crap, I forget his name. Shit. Anyways. He's Sub-Zero now. He's not the former, he's not the guy from before. So it didn't make any sense why he would take his mask off. Um, of course, Scorpion had to use his um, spear and chain and say, get over here. Awesome. And they didn't use, it didn't sound like they used the original, like, get over here, like the original guy. They had the actor say, it, which was cool. He said it good. It sounded good. It wasn't ridiculous. The direct, I watched the director's thing where he said, yeah, it's kind of corny and ridiculous that someone says, get over here in the middle of a fight. And I'm like, no, it's not. No, it's ridiculous when someone touches the rim of their blade hat and goes flawless victory. Scorpion in the video game says you're, see, he's looking at it from a perspective of someone who doesn't watch Mortal Kombat. And I've said this from the very, very beginning. If you're going to make um, content, any kind of content, say a video game, um, say a movie based off of something that already has fans, a series, a known a, uh, a known franchise. You have to take care of the hardcore fan base first because they're what makes it cool. Case in point, the entire Marvel franchise, the comic books, took care of the hardcore fan base. They had a, hard, they had a small hardcore fan base that loved this stuff. Okay, nobody was thinking of making comic book movies in the 80s and 90s. Nobody. All right? It was it was a especially with all the you know, Guardians of the Galaxy. No one even knew what those characters were until they made a, a, a huge portion of people, but they they stayed true to the 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 characters. They made them good. So the hardcore fan base would love them and then also um, the hardcore fan, the hardcore, the hardcore fan base. What I'm trying to say is, the hardcore fan base will support it, and that is, if that's cool enough, if it's if if it's good, then they will always support it. You will always have your support system, your your structure that you're building, the Mortal Kombat structure. The hardcore people have to be taken care of. They're the foundation. Then all of the casual people, like my girlfriend who only knows Sub Zero and Kachala, she she thought Katana is um, th th they can all be added onto it. But without that foundation of hardcore, it falls. It will fall so easily. You will not have, that's why Marvel was able to make 20 damn years of movies is because they had the heart, they, they got the hardcore fan base to like it enough. Now there's things you can quabble about, different storylines, whatever, but the essence of the, those characters from the comic book go on screen. And how the comic book they did real life, like they were doing, they were fighting Nazis in the comic books, and so, so they had real world elements and just how like um, um, uh, whatever, real world elements um to get them to like the character, the real world elements of what's going on um today with all the the racial back and forth, can a black man be Captain America, all of the, all of those kind of um uh issues. 
they 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 have it in the comic books back then all the issues with the nazis and the russians and all that stuff they put it in there because that's what's going on life imitates art and art imitates life and it's the same thing going on and that's why people gravitate towards it. it's like that's cool so i don't understand why they don't do that with mortal combat this you basically have superheroes fighting in a tournament once every t- you know I'll forget it. What was it? Once every hundred years or something like that. Once every ten, hundred years or something. I forget how, what, how much it is. Whatever. But I just don't get. Okay, the coolest part. I didn't even get to it. I didn't even get to it. Coolest part. Sub Zero and Scorpion are fighting in the MMA gym. All right, and the way they in those fights, the way they use their abilities, awesome, 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 awesome. All right. And it, when Scorpion came back from the Nether Realm and started, which and they don't explain how he came back. They just Scorpion was fighting the Cannon Kid, or no, Sub Zero was fighting the Cannon Kid, and then in the middle of it, um, the Cannon Kid has uh, Scorpion's this little dagger, and it was um, his wife. Scorpion's wife, before she was killed by Sub-Zero, was doing gardening. And it's like this little gardening tool spear thing. And then um, it he turns, it's like a, uh, what is it? I can't even think of the right word. Um, Scorpion uses it to kill a bunch of people before Sub-Zero kills him, sends him to the Nether Realm. He's there for a while, but then when Scorpion comes back, that thing is attached to this chain. All right. So when... Um, but Cannon has it in the real world and he's using it and he tried to use it to fight, um, Sub-Zero. And then like, I think Sub-Zero's blood gets on it or something happens and it starts to, it starts to tur- like burst into flames or what have you. And then the a scorpion spear comes in and like, uh, Sub-Zero, sorry, I'm all over the place. He has the spear. He takes the spear from the Cannon kid and he's like, oh, this is Henshi's dagger or whatever and then it's it's on fire i I believe i can't remember if it's on fire or not but he goes to stab the cannon kid with it and then sub-zero or scorpion's spear goes through his arm stops it from stabbing the kid and then he pulls him like get over here and he pulls scorpion and then they fight and then the cannon kid and scorpion fight sub-zero and end up killing him but the coolest part before the cannon kid ruins it um and his suit, which is because the the cannon kid. I'm gonna go off again, and not tell you the coolest part. And I'm, I swear to God, I'm not doing this on purpose to put towards the end. But it was so it was so cool. They put this in here. Um, so when I just lost my complete train of thought. The coolest part I want to say that. Oh yeah, the cannon kid. He's a fighter. He, they show his taped up hands. So when the cannon kid gets his ability because he has a birthmark. All like um his and he can take damage and he's known in the MMA community for taking a lot of damage. So guess what his ability is when he gets his power? His ability is to take damage. His there's a suit of armor that grows around his body that looks like MMA tape, but it looks like metal MMA tape. The suit actually looks kind of cool not going to lie. And then all of a sudden he, um, what grows out of his hands is a nightstick. I don't know why he's not a police officer. He's not the big boss man. So I don't know why he has a nightstick. He's not striker. So I don't know why he has a nightstick. Um, that's interesting. It's not an MMA. I didn't know MMA fighters were allowed to bring weapons into the thing. Um, and then he also, in his left hand, he has a normal nightstick, like a billy club. And then his other, his his left hand, he has that. And then in his right hand, he has a version of a nightstick, but instead of the uh, rounded edge on the two sides, um, it's a it they're blades. So so why not just have two uh, bla- uh, blades, on both on both on both of both things? I don't understand why he has these weapons. It doesn't make any sense. He's an MMA fighter. He has weapons. I don't. I can understand um, him taking a beating and then turning all of that energy, kind of like um, um, Black Panther's suit. He can take a lot of kinetic energy and then ret- return it. Okay, that uh, kind of scientifically doesn't make any sense, but you know we're talking about a, 
a fantastically fan, in the fantastical world. Okay, I get it. The suit looks cool. It seems like someone made that suit and was like, we should make an MMA fighter. Leave it alone, please. Just have Scorpion and Sub-Zero fighting. There's nothing wrong with having two of the most iconic characters in video game history, two of, fight on screen. And you had really good actors, really good choreography, and you ruined it. You ruined, You were so close. It's like you went all the way to the moon and then just were you were in the moon's orbit and your jobs to and and you just missed it you just were um yeah yeah we're almost there you get like oh there's the moon it's like oh we didn't bring enough fuel you, ricky you didn't bring enough no didn't didn't johnny do you have any no didn't have any fuel it was so close oh so close that's the thing is the Mortal Kombat community doesn't care about the acting. The acting can be passable. Just have an okay storyline that follows the video games a little bit, a little bit, and have awesome fight scenes. John Wick is a four-hour, it's a four-movie franchise now, and the story is he got mad because they killed his dog. People don't care. about any of that make cool fi- make characters that we like john wick we liked him we, uh, we everyone understood like killing a dog that sucks we understand you messed up his car and guys are like yeah i understand that and his dog is way too far and then we understand all of the killing that progressed after that we're like okay we get it that's just make you have to make the main we have to like him we have to we have to like him nobody likes that guy you know who we do like? All of the characters that we've been playing for the past 20 years. What are you what are you doing? Coolest part of the movie, Scorpion and Sub-Zero fighting. That's the coolest part of the movie, but there's one part in the movie. There's an um the MMA gym, there's an upper and lower deck. Scorpion and Sub-Zero are fighting on the upper deck part of the and it's, it's they're both indoors. Both uh levels are indoors. Scorpion uh, knocks Sub-Zero down to the second level, the first floor, and that's where the MMA cage is, and he lands inside the MMA cage. And then, um, I can't remember if he uses his spear or if he jumps, but um, Scorpion jumps down onto him, onto Sub-Zero, and then Sub-Zero makes the ice clone version of himself and then backs away. And that's what Scorpion hits instead. Doesn't freeze him though. It should, it should have frozen him a little bit like the video game, but they made, they just, just real quick made a ice clone version of sub zero and he backed up and then Scorpion hit that. I was like, Oh my, Oh, thank you. Cause Scorpion was down after getting, um, after getting thrown off or kicked off of that platform. And he it looked like he was hurt and he, uh, uh, and then he just made a little, Oh, it was so good. It was just that was fan service. So good. He made the ice wall. Sub Zero made the ice wall. Um, he froze the ground a little bit, but then the ice wall came up. So he should have he should have done more with the uh, like he should he should have froze the ground and had someone slip on it or running towards him, and then Sub Zero just freezes the ground and then has the guy slide right by him. Um, something along those lines. Uh, but. I don't understand. And at the end of the movie, um, who was it? Uh, the 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 kid cage, the, the cannon kid. Um, they're going to look for more champions at the end because the, the next tournament has to. So it happens, you know, um, multiple times in a generation, which I don't think happens in the video game. But that's whatever. Um, like every week we have this tournament uh but he he's like oh where are you gonna go kid the the fighter the you know the cannon kid is talking to the guy who uh, makes his mma fights he's like no i think i'm done he's like oh you're finally retiring yay i'm go- going out to hollywood oh what are you going out there for he's like well or um what makes you go out there it's like well it's not what it's um or what what's making you go out there and it's like it's not what it's a who and then he, um, he's like, oh, I'll t- take it easy. He's like, oh, who? Oh, okay. And then 
the Canon kid, the main character of the Mortal Kombat movie, walks by the camera, and then it shows a picture of Johnny uh, Johnny Cage, one of his movies. And so I'm like, so is Johnny Cage going to be the main character of the next movie? Is that because we actually know him? We know who he is. Can we make a Mortal Kombat movie and follow around the characters that we like, please? Doesn't make any sense. It bothers me. This whole thing has been about me and Mortal Kombat. It's going to be easy to do the timestamps on this one. I don't think that there's any... Th- Liu Kang had the awesome fire dragon. Um, there's... Kano ripped Reptile's heart out. And I don't know if they just didn't... They wanted to have Reptile in there. Just don't put Reptile in there. Make him a different character. There's plenty of characters to choose from. You just killed Reptile. I just don't understand it. But Corey's getting home, so I'm going to go. It's terrible. I was so... So disappointed. I'm not playing Sea of Thieves. I'm finishing up my podcast that my mom listens to. Yeah, I'm not playing Sea of Thieves. Get out of here. Oh, I don't care. I'll turn on Sea of Thieves whenever I want. Anyways, it's been an hour. Thank God, because the Ruiner is home. I'll talk to everybody uh, next week. Ain't got this shit knocking, though.